Hey everybody, Raven here. Today I have a box of half dollars, hoping to find some silver, maybe some errors. You just never know. Got the fingers crossed. We're going to check it out real quick. Matter of fact, I know it's a circulated box, which is nice. That gives us a better chance. And like I said, I hope we find either some air coins or some uh, silver. You just never know. If we find any obvious enders, we'll open them live. If not, we'll be back after the first of the Kennedy Mids. Raven Hot Coins, stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am super excited. We do have a ender one of a 1968 and super happy about that. We know there's going to be at least one silver in the box. Let's get this bad boy open and see if there's any more in this roll. All right, so here we go. I don't see any obvious edges, but that one is not too shabby. 1968. It's got a little bit of toning going on. 40 percenter. I'll take that for 50 cents any day of the week. And uh, through the rest, let's see here. I don't see anything obvious. And, oh, we have a 2020. I think that's it qualifies as an MIFC. Uh, 95, 78. All right, nothing too special in here. Ah, this one I know is definitely an NIFC. We got a 2007. I think the 2020s were... I'm 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 not a hundred percent sure. I used to know all the NIFCs, but they've had some weird stuff going on in the eighteen, nineteen, all the way up until twenty three, where a lot of these were circulated. I'm gonna toss the twenty twenty back in the box and just say that in the first roll we got two fines. We're gonna go through the rest of this one and see what we have. Ravenock coins. Stay tuned. All right, everybody. So we got through the first ten rolls. We have the first. Find that we showed on that ender, that 1968 40 percenter. But we got some other cool stuff. A 2011 NIFC, not intended for circulation. 2007. And a 1987 proof. Very, very cool to find that in the box as well i've got the fingers crossed i'm really hoping to get some more silver we're going to get through the next one and be back soon all right everybody i was opening this roll and we have some silver here i'm going to continue opening it and hopefully we get some great stuff besides that i only see the one edge let's take a look and we have a 40 percenter 1965 can't go wrong with that. Let's look through the rest of the roll. See if we get anything else. I've already found quite a few uh, NIFCs in this next batch, which is kind of nice. Uh, it's been slim pickings on NIFCs for a while. And, uh, of course, I'd prefer the silver, but NIFCs are still a cool find. And it looks like that is it. We got three more to get through. We'll see what we have in just a second. All right, everybody, so we got through the next one, and we have a 2008 NIFC right there, plus five 2006s, ladies and gentlemen. Really kind of surprised at that many 2006s all in the same group, but hey, I'll take it. Can't go wrong getting stuff for face value. Now, NIFCs don't command a huge amount of premium to them, but they are worth more than 50 cents. Um, on average, if you can collect an entire run of NIFCs, you can sell them for a little bit more of face value and actually make a little bit of money on the, the ordeal. Uh, we have a 2003, and we have Little Raven in here having fun. Little guy is waking up. We have a 1965, the 40 percenter, so two of them total in the box we got three more to go through got the fingers crossed raven hot coins stay tuned all right everybody so earlier i was looking through still going through these rolls and i found this one that i didn't see right away a 1968 and now i'm seeing right here on the edge here something that looks to be silver so i wanted to finish opening this roll and see what else we find we've had a lot of good finds in this box 
uh, proofs and NIFCs and whatnot. So let's see what we have. Was I? Oh, I was fooled. It's a 76 clad. It just had that little bit thicker silver look to it. Oh, wah, wah, wah. Goes to show you that sometimes you don't see it right, even though you think you do. Um, that's why on this other silver, I'd opened the whole roll and didn't even notice the uh, the edge of it at all. Um, not a bad looking coin, to say the least, but sometimes you don't see them right away. That's why you got to look at every single coin when you're doing a hunt, and you just never know. Look at that. We got a proof. 2009. Normally those stick out like a sore thumb because of the big ridge that they have as, as far as the uh, thickness of the coin. The uh, proofs are normally a little bit a little bit wider. And we got another NIFC, 2015, ladies and gentlemen. Holy cow. This box is really starting to produce a lot. Matter of fact, I'm running out of room to put stuff that's going off the screen. <laughs> All right, here we go. That is it on that roll. So we're going to look at the last two here and be back with what we have. All right, everybody, we got through the last few rolls, and here we go. We have a 2015 NIFC, a 2014, a 2013, and then that 2009 that we found when we were looking at that one roll where I thought the edge looked like it was silver and was wrong. We have a couple 2007s. So a nice mix of dates. 1982 proof. A 1980 proof, which has got some nice little toning on it. And then last but definitely not least... That 1968 40 percenter, my friends. All right, we got two more of the Kennedy mids to go through. Keeping the fingers crossed. Stay tuned. All right, everybody. So we got through the next group. We got another proof, ladies and gentlemen. 2007. Of course, that's San Francisco. A 2007 NIFC. And yet one more 2006. Got the fingers crossed, hoping for silver. You just never know. We'll see what we get. So I want to show you guys. There are people out there that think it's funny to do this. And uh, I've gotten partially through this roll. And of course I saw that and thought for half a second it might be silver. But no, it's somebody that literally went through the trouble of putting white on the edge to mess with somebody. Oh well, that's how it goes. All right, everybody, so we got some more finds, a 2007 NIFC, an Elvis stickerized or colorized Kennedy half from 2006, which kind of surprised me, but I've seen those a couple times here and there, a really beat up 2003 proof, and a 1980 proof ladies and gentlemen so not a bad box overall i'm going to put these all in order and do a really quick wrap up we'll be right back all right ladies and gentlemen we have a quite a big amount of finds here we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen eighteen and ifc's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven proofs, and three silver. That is not a bad box whatsoever. This was a lot of fun. If you want to correspond, it's ravenhotcoins at gmail.com. The P.O. Box is 721-296, Norman, Oklahoma, 73070. Like always, please make sure to take care of one another, and we'll see you real soon. Ravenhot Coins, have a great day.